Lettuce is a common vegetable and can grow almost anywhere. That's why UCF professor Henry Daniel has been developing an innovative method of creating vaccines using genetically engineered lettuce plants. His work has now earned a nearly $800,000 grant from the Bill and Melinda Gates Foundation to develop a polio vaccine that is cheaper, more effective, and needle-free. The polio vaccine, even the vaccine in the U.S. that we have injectable, uh, if it needs to be delivered to 6 billion people you know, around the globe, it's simply not uh, affordable. These vaccines, because we just grow them in the plant, powder them, uh, they should actually production costs should be pennies. The lettuce vaccine is freeze-dried and then placed in capsules. The Food and Drug Administration is a collaborator in the Gates Grant and will critically evaluate this novel technology. We are doing pretty much the stability of the vaccine, dosage of the vaccine, uh, and uh, shelf life, how long it can be stored without any uh, refrigeration. Thanks to the global immunization effort, polio in Africa and India has been reduced 99 percent and is on the threshold of becoming the second disease ever to be eradicated. However, 1,292 cases of polio were confirmed in 2010. Should Daniel's vaccine receive FDA approval, it would open the door for the production of other, cheaper, more effective vaccines to fight disease around the world. And if one vaccine is validated, then it gives us opportunity to advance the vaccines that we have made for cholera, malaria, dengue. For the University of Central Florida, I'm Ed Highland.